Greetings everyone and welcome back to Woven Tales and of course to Going Medieval. Now, as per the last episode, it does feel like we're closing in on, well, not quite the end of Woven Tales' story, but perhaps the end of these chapters of it. The game is continuing to be developed, and I imagine we're going to be coming back to Woven Tales and to Going Medieval in general, perhaps a, a different save even, uh, many times in the future. But uh, we're definitely closing in on all that there is to say about Woven Tales for now. That being being said, there have been a couple of updates, and I do want to address those before we get down to the busy work of building up our tower and a couple of other projects, as many as we can fit in today's episode. Now, the first one is a big performance update. Uh, there was a memory leak relating to the way that piles of resources were stored, and it is why sometimes when a trebuchet would hit an area with a large storage section and distribute items around, you could see FPSs drop as low as one in some cases. Um, that is not a bug that I particularly suffered with, uh, including when we did get hit, though I did notice a little bit of chugging at the time. It, we were complete, weren't completely free of it, but that has apparently been addressed, and that is going to be great news for anyone who was struggling with lower performance as your storage piles got bigger. And the other one, now this is probably going to, well, it will have affected absolutely everyone, the way the temperature is managed, uh, previously any natural floor tile would have a cooling effect on any room it was a part of. But when you floored it, you would insulate the room from that cooling effect and thus the rooms would get hotter. Not great news for your, uh, for your basements and larders where you have to put something down on the floor, otherwise things will rot. That has now been addressed. You will no longer insulate the ground from the cooling effect. And as such, your storage areas will probably be significantly more useful as, well, you know, storage areas, which is very, very good news. Now, as you can see, our first order of business in today's episode is going to be building up our tower over here. We're probably going to keep the windows open most of the time, though right now we've got a bit of a, a cold snap and it's winter, so I will allow the, key, the windows to be uh, to be closed in general. Uh, we're slowly building out the floor here and we've already uh, laid down a wooden stairs. Generally speaking, I'm going to have three windows on each wall that, where windows make sense on this floor over here and over here doesn't really make sense, but one problem that we are going to run into and that is this little bit here, I'm not really sure what best to do. I guess, frankly, I could make an exception and build out this little floor piece around there and just have a little door. I, I generally try not to add flooring above a a uh, roof tile, though, which is a little bit of a an issue, if you ask me. The other thing I could do is I could actually tuck in a little part of uh, of this wall, maybe. It would slightly deform the shape of the of the turret of the uh, tower itself, but I might be okay with that. Uh, the other job that we need to do, of course, is to work on the secret archive. And as you can see, I've already dug down two holes over here. Now we're going to have to do this one tile at a time, sadly, uh, which is a little bit uh, labor intense, to be perfectly honest. But we have to do it this way. Because if I designated the whole thing to just be dug out in one go, there may be a, a small chance that an item would be sat on a tile when it's excavated and thus drop down to the layer below. And if that happens, we can't get down there. Not easily, anyway. I'd have, I'd have to dig in a tunnel from a different direction, which is not really something I'm looking forward to, if I'm perfectly, perfectly honest on that. Now, as for our little tower over here, which was, honestly, I think will finish off this area and is needed to finish off this area, to be to be frank. Uh, we're going to bring out... We don't need too much. Uh, I would like to square off this little point here and then make a brick wall around about this, this wide. And we'll take it across here in the same way. We could perhaps even make it a, uh, a smaller shape, but maybe a little bit rounded, the, the corners just rounded off. I think that actually might be quite nice. Uh, let's shrink this down, we don't need that zone to be nearly as large. In fact, well, we do, we do need it to be a little bit larger, but let's, uh, let's grow it out in that direction. Uh, we will then go ahead and add in the very basics of the wall up on top. 
Again, this is not really meant to be a, a proper fortification as much as it is just a little little forward area for us to uh, project our firepower. Uh, so we're going to want these in here as well. Let's uh, pop that there and there, and then down on this side as well. They won't be able to uh, mess with this side because we're already um, one tile up, so they're not going to be able to get in. Not that they would be able to anyway, as we've shown, but still, for the for the purpose of the aesthetic, I think this would this will work. We'll probably just cap this off. It'll be an instance where you can't actually get to the top of the tower. There is no reason for it. All we need is a little space in here, maybe two braziers, and I think that will be perfect. So let's uh, actually pop those in. Do we want do we want metal braziers? Yeah, sure. Let's go with metal braziers. Ah, but before we do that, we are actually going to need to ensure that this space has been properly floored. And what kind of floor are we going to go with? I think we're going to go with clay flooring in here. So let's get uh, proper clay floor all the way across, and then finally we can add in the braziers. And I can add in a little bit of extra um, extra uh, detailing work and, and furnishings in there. It is going to be visible from the temple area, I imagine, but that's why we're not going to take it up an extra layer and allow people to get up on top of the tower itself. I think we're just going to cap it with some merlons and an actual floor section, and that should be good enough. Right, as for in here, we should now be able to uh, finish off the flooring. There we go, perfect. This is coming along actually quite quickly. Uh, I'm really, really happy with that. I may need to get outside, though, and add in some scaffolding just so that I can pop down some nice banners or, or something along those lines. Mm, I really like the idea of having some uh, prominent banners just kind of fluttering in the in the breeze. Uh, to that end, actually, I may have jumped the gun a little bit. Let's let's cancel these buildings right there. I won't put them on this side, but I will have them on on uh, this side here. We're just going to build out some flooring to the outside, like so. Actually, I guess we don't need to pull that one down. We'll just keep that one from from being there. We'll just build this out, and that way we can add in some. Penance to flutter, something like that. I think it'll look amazing when it's done. We actually won't need that floor. We only need to be neighboring the tile in order to build on it. So that should take care of everything. Uh, Saddler's wounds need tending. Am I my biggest fan? Are you all right? Uh, no, you're not. No one has, has tended you in a while. Let's see. Is anyone gathering materials? Uh, no. That's actually a little bit surprising. Uh, have we got materials? Oh, no. Here we go. Thank you very much, Russell. There we go. Settlers are exhausted. Well, I mean, we've got a lot of work to do, to be fair. So uh, that is going to be the order of business for a little while. I am sorry, Settlers, but uh, I do need you to be working pretty hard for the next little while. But I'm going to continue expanding this out until we've managed to place down the stairs, and I will, of course, replace the walls as well. That's that's quite a lot of busy work, uh, unfortunately. But I shall bring you back when there is something interesting to report, and we've made a little bit more progress on our two towers over here. So see you in a few seconds. A relentless stream of wolves poured into woven tails, teeth bared and eyes aglow. Whether this sudden visitation resulted from hunger or playful destruction was unclear. Brandishing tools and shielding the stock, the settlers had to drive them off. Well, it just so happens that I uh, had right now begun to uh, have everyone switch over to uh, plate mail and great helms. So, <laughs> uh, that's frustrating. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to need to make some changes then. Uh, as I was literally just having them switch so that people would have uh, an opportunity to create more room in the stockpile for more suits of armor to be made. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to switch all armor for everyone but melee. Uh, that should allow our melee combatants to we to uh, well actually I'm gonna force you to drop that. Um, I hope that will allow our melee combatants to equip the best armor. That being said, all armor will allow uh, plate mail. So what I could go and do is just pop into all armor and just take off plate mail uh, momentarily, just to ensure that all of our archers don't uh, rush to equip that. I've just given a big old hunt order because we are starting to run a little bit shy 
on materials. Uh, if we have a look into food, we're okay for now. I'm probably going to be okay for winter, but our raw food is, is shockingly low, sadly. So uh, this is going to create a bit of a problem. That being said, uh, with a couple of uh, the works underway, we're currently building out some scaffolding so we can get in some flags there. I've already popped in a couple of shields, and we're starting to work on the roof over this tower. I did also find... A slight problem over here. Unfortunately, I oh, really... <sighs> Fine, I'm going to have to break this one down now. Okay, two slight problems. Uh, the big one, though, is that we can't have the beams crisscrossing as I'd intended because they're not allowed to be built over staircases. That's a problem, which means we are going to have to have a central pillar here. Not something I had initially planned on. Um, especially because I'm going to need to build one down here as well. So, with that in mind, I'm going to have to get rid of that brazier and build another pillar here and then just remove this in its entirety. Uh, but that one pillar should be able to support the design of the, uh, of the turret that we were going for. That shouldn't be uh, a grave issue for us. But it is now time for us to deal with the wolf horde. Uh, that will be easiest to done, I would say, if we just grab the everyone from over here. All of our archers, every single one of you. Let's get you all down here, drafted, and located the highest point about there, I would say, would do. Uh, actually, if we pop you there, that'll be best. Let's get you out there. The wolves are already heading in. Uh, okay, let's uh, try and reposition them over here, perhaps. Uh, where are they headed? Who are they headed toward? Hmm. Is someone outside? Oh, yes. Yes, there are a couple of people outside. In fact, one of our archers was out there. Uh, okay, well, that is now scuppered their plan. So let's get the archers up on the battlements. We shouldn't need to send anyone outside to deal with them in melee. But I am going to lock the gates just to avoid any potential issues with any of uh, anyone trying to head out in order to build anything, for example. Because we do have a couple of jobs for them to, to do. We've already managed to take out quite a few of the wolves. That, oh my lord. Really? That entire swarm of wolves. The, or pack, as the case may be. Look, they said they were swarming, okay? They're now a swarm of wolves. That was actually kind of terrifying, in a way. All right, let's uh, undraft everyone, I suppose. Uh, okay, well, our um, food problem has probably just solved itself. Very happy with that. Let's uh, go ahead and unlock all of these. But we do have the problem of needing to build this pillar. Now, thankfully, it's not going to be a big issue. Uh, generally speaking, we just need to drop that pillar in there, and then all will be well. But we are then going to have to decide how we're going to light this area. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking, maybe if we have two braziers, one either side of this, and then we just alternate where the braziers are going to be. But at that point, I'm not sure I want the iron braziers. I think I might actually prefer the stone braziers. Something like that instead. I think that might look actually quite nice. Now, once this pillar has been built, we're going to need to wait and then remove the uh, support beam because that won't get removed automatically. It'll just shrink down. But we've gotten rid of all of the wolves, so we may as well go out there and uh, bring in all of the carcasses. There we go. We'll have a load of meat on the way. We've also managed to make some really heavy progress down here as well, which I'm very, very glad to see. I've had them start laying down the brickwork on the flooring. We're going to go with just flagstone flooring, uh, lime flagstones. And, of course, we're going to have to replace a lot of this with a new type of wall. Now, my thoughts are we're going to actually go with clay wall down here, just so that it has more of a, a dark and gloomy atmosphere as you descend more more of a rusty red color of uh, of the earth as, as we descend into this area but for the most part it's going to be limestone walls not blocks but uh, uh, dry stone walls in inside I think that's going to create a very very nice look for this area uh, we can perhaps have some double doors down here maybe something along those lines I will have walls to separate but uh, people will be able to move in we're still going to be hunting the deer for now as well 
But uh, for the time being, things seem to generally be okay. Our peeps are suffering from the cold, unfortunately, and that is going to continue to be the case, especially for those who have popped on helmets. Uh, much sad about that one, really. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll wait until everyone who's got heavy armor... Uh, set has got all heavy armor, but following that I'm going to be keeping an eye on the number of great helms and the number of plate arms that we have available and Making sure to build uh, to only uh, tell people to equip them if I know they can uh, That being said are we smelting down? Uh, looks like we might be let's have a look at you. What are we what are we smelting here? Uh, daggers Savage play. Okay, well, I'm actually okay with smelting down the male armor as well. That being said, hmm. yeah, we're gonna smelt down the male armor if only because it's taking up too much room in our uh, in our stockpiles. If I don't do that, then we're not gonna have enough room to store it all. So let's get that done. We are currently on the eighth day of winter. We're making reasonable progress through the season, and uh, nothing. Too dangerous has happened just yet. The wolves, honestly, yeah, they're not—they're not, they're not really a danger. Let's let's be completely honest with that. They—they are. Uh, it's been a long while since wolves were a real threat to woven tails. But now that we've got this done, we can start adding in the nice walls. Well, actually, we've still got a little bit over on that side to uh, excavate. But I can start adding them in uh, where we where we want. Just down here. Let's go for you. I'm going to definitely want. A clay wall on this side all the way along. Once that's built, I will slowly bring it out here and then down. Actually, uh, placed it in just slightly the wrong place. We don't want a clay wall there. This is going to be the doorway into this area. I the the recent ideology patch for Rimworld has really filled my creative uh, my uh, is really sorry uh, inspired my creativity for curtain doors. Sadly, no curtain doors here. <laughs> Ah, uh, much badness because that would be fantastic because then I could have a double door just down there which would be absolutely wonderful but uh, for now I think we're we're doing okay but as I mentioned it is currently the eighth day of winter we've just dealt with a bunch of wolves hopefully we can bring in the carcasses in and we don't actually waste any of the meat as you can see we're smoking pretty much all of it all of the time which is fantastic uh, so we should have a very great deal of extra um, of extra ingredients available to us, and we've got a, a fairly good stack of lavish uh, meals, stews, and packaged meals at this point, which I'm, which I'm very, very happy with. Honestly, about the only thing that I'm not happy with in terms of our storage is the frankly stupid amount of hay that we've got. My lord. Oh, oh my goodness, we've got a lot of gold as well. Well, I suppose we haven't actually been prioritizing making that, so yeah, I guess I guess it does make sense. Either way, I shall bring you back when there is more to report, and we've got a little bit more progress done on all of the towers. Armor glinted and pennants fluttered, each bearing three white crosses. First they prayed, then they purged the faithless, and they did not bring trebuchets. The fools! Do they not know who we are? They didn't even bring bow. Oh no, they brought some bows and a crossbow. Okay, maybe they have heard some of uh, some of the stories about Woven Tales exploits. As you can see, we've made it to day two of spring, and we are currently excavating some more limestone because we are fast running out. Our tower is coming along rather marvelously. I did in the end decide to tuck the door just in there so that uh, our peeps can move from the, uh, the, the uh, wall into the tower itself. But you'll also notice that I've been uh, just popping in a little bit of uh, decoration into the tower as we go, so the guards have something to do when they're on, when they're, uh, on the, the point of changing shift, so that uh, anyone who is uh, moving out of shift doesn't need to leave the tower, and I've just noticed that this has not yet been built. That is shameful. Let me get that sorted. There we are. We'll just build that stay away in there temporarily to help support that uh, that tile there. Not that we really need it, but it looks nice, I think. Uh, as for our little tower down here, as you probably have already spotted, it is complete. The tower is done. I am very, very happy with how it looks. Uh, we haven't got uh, Merlons going all the way around because obviously windows and doors and such, but uh, it looks quite nice what we've got there. And as for the secret archive, it is coming along rather nicely. 
we uh, move right in, you can see that we've got stairs, we've got walls, and we are heading up to a gate, uh, uh, sorry, to uh, gates, rather than to uh, doors leading into the secret archive. I, I felt the bars really, really added something to the overall design. But we're going to need peeps to head indoors, frankly. Um, we're going to need all of our ranged peeps. On duty, <laughs> my lord, they look rather intimidating, I must say. Uh, let's grab everyone we can. We've been slowly making more arms and armor as we go, but uh, for the time being, this is it. Now, we could just head over here and just start trying to take out the, the ranged uh, combatants as quickly as we can. And that might not be a bad idea, frankly. Uh, let's get everyone in that we can. Uh, I am going to need all of our melee troops also indoors let's get all of you there we go drafted and please and thank you head in there we go get yourselves out of harm's way we want to deal with this fight as quickly as we can let's have a proper look at our assailant got one bow one crossbow two bows three crossbows uh four crossbows three bows four crossbows so far have you got a bow or a knife you got a knife uh, okay, four bows, and it looks like five cross. Uh, sorry, uh, six crossbows, was it? I think it was. Uh, okay, well, that's not ideal for us, I'm going to be honest. We could allow them to approach completely and then just take them out as they're moving in towards the, the gate there, if we really wanted to. That would possibly help, but you know what? Let's, let's risk it for a biscuit. Let's get out there. Go. Archers! To your stations swiftly now come come on everyone out there i know man who you you're risking it all for a biscuit right now but that's the nature of biscuits if you don't risk it you can't have the biscuit Oof. oh mousy karina oh my lord bad boy rune took a heck of a lot of damage right i want you guys to fall back let's get mouse karina also back We've got no protection here and the enemy, sadly, are in a pretty, pretty amazing position to attack us. So hopefully you will fall back. Two of them already down. Fantastic. Mouse Karina, I really don't want you in here. Could you fall back there? Let's see. Can I get you back around here? Now, had they not had all of that armor, I'm not sure they would have even survived. Actually, how about we just grab everyone here and just aim for the crossbow users? Daniel, you're going to be dead next. But Mouse Karina and Bad Boy Rune... You two really need to be back there right now. Let's get you. There we are. Let's get you all the way back. And let's move very slowly. Take aim. Another one dead. Well done. Next group. If you could go for... Go for the archers. Go for the crossbow users. They are the big ones that we need to take out of this engagement. If you could go for this crossbow user down there... Where's Dr. Lady Terra? Uh, right in the middle there. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, grab you two. Let's go for Stanley. See what we can do. Fire. All shots. Okay. Master Third Coming Archer Allen is dead. Fantastic. Let's keep it up. All right, it looks like the, the worst affected are already out of harm's way, which is great. Uh, we do still need you down, so keep it up. Fire. One down, good. Who just got hit? No one. Oh, well, actually, no, no. Uh, Russell did take a shot, but Russell, you're fine to stay in this, I think. Let's take another shot. Another one down, fantastic work. Archer over there. Any other crossbow users? Any other crossbow users? Yes, Brett. Uh, sorry, Brent. You need to not be there. Fire. Excellent shot. Go for... Arnold. On Well, actually... Brinston, actually. I think would probably be the better person to aim for. Well done. Brinston is down. Now go for Arnold. Let's keep it up. Another one down. Who have we got left? Longbow user right there. Let's end their life. And yours as well. Fire. Oh, Lucas, you sneaky little devil. Hiding in there. And that's pretty much it. Fire at will at this point. 
Right, you guys get back to uh, healing. Let's lock these doors. It's a matter of extreme importance. But I don't think we're going to need anyone else taking care of anything else after that. Can we get the doors locked? No, River Knight, you scallywag. You utter scallywag, River Knight. My lord. Okay, well, can we unlock that door? Uh, could you prioritize setting the door? Right, okay, River Knight, let's get you inside. Uh, could you go this way? Malachi, could you go this way as well? That way. There we go. Thank you very much, River Knight. And then we will lock the door. That way I can allow my melee um, combatants to where they're capable of doctoring be doctors. Because we have got some nasty wounds, frankly. Some really nasty wounds. Right, Mouse Karina, Bad Boy Rune, where are you? You're praying. Uh, I mean, that's <laughs> possibly wise. Um, you are losing blood. But you've got a lot of blood, all of you, so you should be fine by and large. I don't expect to uh, see anyone die from this. Avian Sworn enemies die. Dr. Lady Terra was the bravest of the settlers, dealing the most blows to the foe. Bad Boy Rune took the most damage from the enemy, thinking only of defending Woven Tales in his hour of need. Well done, Bad Boy Rune. You know what, we're not even going to chase them down. We, they, they are too insignificant for us to care about at this point. Uh, with that, though, we can unlock the doors. There we go. A nice little fight, dealt with quickly and efficiently. Our wounded peeps are healing now, hopefully. Let's uh, have a look over here. Uh, Russell needs to, be, uh, needs to have someone come along and, and tend your wounds. I would love it if Bad Boy Rune and uh, Mouse Karina would head to bed, though. I'm not going to lie. There we go. One has headed to bed. Hopefully, we're going to see a medic on their way shortly. I'm going to keep an eye on you, though. Uh, looks like there we go. Well done. Let's make sure that they are fully healed. Let's have a look at that pierced cheek. Ouch. Uh, how are you doing over here, Mouse Karina? Still need a healer. So, uh, hopefully, someone is on their way with some healing herbs in hand. We haven't yet. I, th I believe we've unlocked the tech to be able... No, actually, we haven't unlocked the tech to be able to make better healing kits. But honestly, we don't need it. If we needed a better healing kit, on it would be a case of the wound was so grievous, they would have died anyway. The healing kits we have are more than capable of dealing with the wounds that we are seeing our, our uh, soldiers endure. But that was a fairly standard engagement, frankly. We could even think about building a tower over here at some point, perhaps uh, later, uh, when the series continues. Because I'm fairly, fairly confident we're going to finish the secret archive and the main tower in this episode without, without much trouble at all, honestly. Uh, so we're probably going to be saying goodbye to Going Medieval for at least the short term while we wait for more content to come along. But uh, so far, I'm really liking the look of this tower. I have had to adjust the use of um, the wooden beams to support the floor. It was just ever so slightly out of reach. So uh, we've, we've popped a couple of wooden beams in place, as you can see, down here. Just to give us that little bit to be able to finish off the flooring completely. But uh, so far, things are looking relatively good. Now let's have a quick gander in here. We're making some more plate. Oh, we've got five great helms. Marvellous. Let's uh, get peeps with the great helms on then. So uh, helmets, please. One, two, three, four, and indeed five. There we go. And that uh, leaves only another eight to go. So not bad at all, actually, all things considered. Uh, we have almost got everyone into heavy armor that needs to be in heavy armor and then slowly little by little we are starting to flesh out the uh the defensive capabilities of our soldiers quite significantly i don't think we're going to do anything more with this we could probably take it down one extra layer just for the sake of having done so but i'm not really sure there's there's much reason for us to really worry over that uh, we've got a couple of odds and sods items lying around that I do need to reclaim. Let's go ahead and take care of that. There we go. I'm still hunting a couple of the animals out and about. They're not a big concern for us at this point. Thanks to the wolves, we ended up with shocking amounts of food. And given that it is turned spring, we're now growing food 
again. So uh, that's yet another uh, thing that we don't need to worry too much about. Uh, actually, I am going to carve these uh, zones back. I should have done that previously in winter while we weren't growing anything in them, but we're not really going to have lost anything with this. Let's just peel that back so that I can finish off laying the uh, the path around here as I wanted to. Uh, this one will just uh, rip up so that it looks uh, looks nice. We'll have a little corner there. I think it'll it'll add uh, a nice little uh, visual visual variance to the the way our paths are going. Right, let's have a look down here. How are things going? Okay, the walls are more or less ready down here. I do need to still build them one at a time, unfortunately, because the uh, they will block themselves from being able to access the walls unless I do this. That once I think once we're about there. Uh, they'll be able to build them from the stairwell, so it isn't as big of an issue. Uh, let's pop these down. I would like a little bit of light down here as well. Uh, as you can see, I've got uh, flags due to go up on these walls, but I want a little little bit of uh, lighting, so I'll have torches there as well. I think they'll really add to the effect. Uh, if we look down here, this is the, this is the kind of view that we're going to be getting down there now. All clay brick, which uh, as quite a nice uh, quite a nice effect and that wall there will be clay brick as well i think it'll give uh, just the right kind of uh, ominous feeling about heading into the secret archive right okay we've got uh, a fair bit more building to do uh, how is our wood doing actually before i let you go uh we're not well, we're not doing terribly, but we're actually using a lot of wood um, very quickly. There have been a few times when I've had to head out and just do a, a mass chop of some areas because the trees in here, I didn't want to thin them out too much, otherwise it looks like our, our little uh, crops of trees uh, is going bald. Uh, and I like the aesthetic of having this thick, uh, lush uh, forest there starting to sprout out. We are seeing, seeing some of these trees being spawned from the the standing trees and starting to uh, reach across the way and i'm i'm quite happy to let that continue for now but i will bring you back when there's a little bit more progress to report it is the third of spring and mouse karina has just turned 36. happy birthday everyone please welcome evil friend who is currently being chased by forest bandits unfortunately i didn't start the recording when the event popped up but nevertheless welcome evil friend if it weren't for the fact that i had to pause in order to grab a name i might not even have noticed that at all so on the plus side evil friend thank you very much for being a patron supporter and also for saving this part of the recording hooray for evil friend but you are a bloodthirsty cobbler and you got the pseudonym the broken of heen Hailing from Heen, evil friend liked to roam up over the downs and through the ferny hollowways of England. Villagers always welcomed him, as even the most humble Carl or Cotter had shoes for evil friend to mend. After the apocalypse, evil friend recalled the healer lancing boils. Flagstones had run red as he opened veins, cursing the French and the king. Finally, evil friend took the power powders and purifying herbs from the dying healer's blackened hand. Evil friend was left holding the bloody razor. Uh, okay, uh, interesting. You are a gourmet. You're everyone's favorite cook with endless culinary skills that tantalize the taste buds. And also you're a lightweight. You cannot hold your drink. Well, you know, not everyone can. Welcome, evil friend. Uh, let's get you set up properly. Uh, we're going to go with... Sure, we'll grab that schedule. There you go. We were just about ready to be done with all of the, the helmets. Sadly, no more. Uh, you are actually a quite a decent medic, as it happens. You're a very good medic. Yeah, okay, well, you're going to be a primary one, then, for medicking. Uh, we will then have hunting. Uh, I mean, sure, everyone uh, everyone can have that if, they, if they've got an interest in it. You're not great at construction, but you do have a passion for it, so it's allowed. However, growing, not really your thing. Harvesting. Likewise, mining, you can have that on a four. Um, cutting plants, uh, more or less everyone gets that on a three. Cooking, well, it says... <laughs> see, it claims that you're great at it, but uh, your skills, uh, to be fair though, there are lots of people in Woven Tales who've been here from the very beginning. This is a community of the masters of their craft at this point. There's few communities across the whole of Britain that could boast so many master tradesmen as Woven Tales. So I'm not I'm not going to hold that one against you. Uh, you've got an interest in smithing, so I will allow it. Uh, yeah, somewhat okay with carpentry, but I'll put it on a four. But you are actually very good at tailoring, so uh, you're going to get that one on a nice... Uh, respectable priority too and everything else can be 
as is. Now, as for your gear, well, let's get you back in. I suppose tis time for us to uh, pop everyone more towards the summer uh, options in terms of uh, seasonal items, simply because, uh, well, we're almost at the end of spring, frankly. Uh, let's have a look. Marksmanship of a 10. Okay, well, that's uh, pretty good. I'm going to give you a crossbow then. In that case, let's uh, just go with a regular crossbow, please, and thank you. There you go. Uh, as for the seasonal, let's have you drop that, and then we're going to go for seasonal there and edit it. It's time for everyone to switch over to summer clothes, I think. There you go. Absolutely everyone in Woven Trails just got naked. It, it's... Look, it's it's a ritual for accepting new friends into the community, okay? We there are no secrets between the the people of Woven Tales. If you can't if you can't uh, accept this, then you have no place here. Uh, this is also how we weed out the spies, the zealot spies, because they would blanch and have to turn away and immediately start mumbling something about penance for their sins, and then we know that uh, we've got uh, a raid on its way. We we will see the glinting armor and the uh, cries of uh, religious zealots on the morrow, more than likely, though uh, probably a few of the people of Woven Tales <laughs> sneak away to. Uh, Pray for forgiveness from the restitutionists. The, the Oak Brethren have no problem with this. Uh, however, on the topic of uh, religion, I am slowly thinking that uh, we might want to have a couple of religious icons down here. We're, we're starting to actually dig into the secret archive proper at this point. I've popped in a little bit of extra support because we are kind of undermining the uh, the library above, which is not necessarily the best thing. Uh, let's go... Yeah, we're going to dig this through about four at a time, I think is probably the best way of doing it. We'll have more than enough uh, more than enough um, stability to do that. I think we'll pop in some basic um, benches down here, but then we're going to start moving down some storage. Because I should imagine, yeah, we, we just don't have enough room. I don't think for anything else. That being said, let me just double check. Are we actually making the thesis that we require? Let's let's have a quick gander. We are not. Ah, that is because, of course, I've moved everything around several times as it happens. So yeah, that's that's probably uh, probably going to explain why we haven't got any thesis available. Uh, let's uh, get those on the go again. There we are. And we have 30. My plan is to have all the thesis stored down in the secret archive and just the uh, chronicles and textbooks up top. Uh, I think that that is a better spread. As for the towers coming along, I'm having to uh, burrow out through the walls in order to try and uh, pop up some additional uh, additional uh, furnishes and flags and stuff. Uh, however, at this point, I'm not really adding any more uh, recreational items to the rooms, especially on this this part, because uh, we're actually at, at this stage. Uh, this is where we will have our archers looking out. I think this layer is going to be the final layer before we reach the roof, and I've got a bit of a plan on how we're going to do that. Uh, I'm thinking of having a wall going along here, something along these lines. Uh, well, actually. We'll have it on this side instead. Uh, we'll have another gate. There we are. And then we'll have the stairs heading up from there to the roof. That way we can have the Merlins. That's why this layer has no windows on it. So that I can have the Merlins proud of the wall and actually have the, the killing holes. I am so happy with this. I, I, I don't know if anyone else uh, played with like little model castles as a, as a kid. I, I did. It was, it was kind of a thing. Um... And uh, we, there, were, there were various ways. I mean, of course, everyone's built castles out of Lego, but uh, we had little model kits for castles. And there was something I just adored about making castles with ramparts where you could basically traverse from the walls to any other building around the whole of the castle. I, there was, I just loved the idea of having lots of different ways to get to a place. It's probably why I adored the uh, the map in Dark Souls 1, 1 so much, because there were so many different paths you could take to get from one place to the next, and, and much the same with the uh, Dungeon Siege, uh, especially the Dungeon Siege multiplayer map, but we're talking Dungeon Siege 1 now, because that was just, uh, that was a 
a piece of artistry. There were so many different ways to go from what, uh, A to B. You could go literally from A to B, or you could take a detour through C. You might go for the more scenic route through K, and maybe you'd go all the way through everything else, all the way to Z, and then come back around to B. It was, it was glorious. Uh, of course, if you went that way, you'd be dealing with uh, enemies significantly outside of your, your capacity to deal with, but, you know, that's the price for exploration, really. Uh, there we go. Let's get that all sorted. It, it's actually taken us a long time to get the flags up for some reason. Uh, the flags in particular, lots of the other furniture goes up a lot faster than the flags, and I'm not really sure why, because we've got more than enough materials for them. Uh, oh, violent extortionists, here we are. They're here for evil friend. Evil friend belongs to me. Hand over my slave, or you will all suffer. Do you, do you know who we are? Really now? Really now? Let's have a quick look. Still no trebuchets. Uh, much sadness there. Uh, have you got any... Oh, you don't even have any bows. Oh, you poor, poor people. This is going to be exceedingly unpleasant for you. We're talking ultra unpleasantness. Evil friend. No, 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 no. You, you don't need to rush off and die. Please, please don't, in fact. Uh, we're going to need to bring everyone inside. Let's uh, go ahead and grab everyone. I would like them all brought in. You notice that a lot of our peeps have uh, little happy faces next to them. It's because we're doing a very good job of uh, lifting the spirits of all of our peeps. The, the people of Open Tales are in extremely high spirits generally all the time, which is something I'm really happy to see. Uh, we have almost finished cleaning up from the last raid. Almost. There were just a couple of items left out there. So, you know what? I'm fine with having another raid at this point. The, the, main, the main point being that we've cleaned up. Uh, we have got a significantly larger amount of little spike traps, but we've also got more real traps, you know, actual uh, actual bear traps. Uh, right, let's grab our archers, though. Uh, you know what? Sure, we're, we're going to allow... Oh, sorry, but I didn't mean to grab you. Uh, we're going to have all of our archers, including Dr. Lady Terra, because we're not really worrying too much about building up skill at this point. Uh, the, the the time is gone that we, we need to worry about such things. Uh, let's have you all pop up here. Let's get you up there if we can. We'll see what horrible damage you can do from this point. It should be glorious. Uh, a couple of people can go down to the lower level as well, I think. Uh, there we are. Uh, Malachi, can I get you to... I want both of these doors locked. Uh, actually... We don't even need that. Let's just position our melee fighters in, in readiness to deal with things. Should anyone survive the archers? I somewhat doubt they will. All right. Begin firing if you can, please. Uh, there they are. They're already taking, taking aim. That's fantastic. All right. This is exactly what we were hoping for. All right. Let's grab a couple of other people. We've got a decent amount of defenders up there. So let's head down to the floor below. There we go. Let's get some more peeps down there. Go, go, go. Uh, Magrez Polar Bear. Sadly, I can't have you up top. I would really love it if I could put you right up on top of the tower. Unfortunately, no. Uh, can I get you to move there? No, apparently I can't. Oh, you can't stand below the shield, perhaps? I'm not sure. Uh, either way, let's uh, move you over. Ah, oh, Scallywags. Uh, Master Karina, could you open this window? Let's get that done. There we are. Good enough. Let's get you back in position. All right, let's head on down and see how this is going. <laughs> oh, my lord. This tower is working perfectly. Exactly as I had hoped. Uh, evil friends. Well, you know what? You could stand over here if you really wanted to. Uh, you can take revenge against uh, those who would have made a slave of you. Oh, my goodness. This is actually kind of disgusting. This is actually disgusting how ridiculously effective this is. This tower is working exactly as we had hoped. Ah, oh, the best of days. That is... Uh, what terrible sins did the people of Woven Tales commit to wield such terrifying power? My lord. That is... actually... disgusting. I don't even know if they're going to get away. They might. You might be lucky. They're trying to stop you, though. Are they going to get away? Yes, they are. Oh, well, the, the, the legend grows. But my goodness. Well, we've got a lot of things to clean up. All right. Let's uh, 
Get back to burning bodies. You know, this is just a, just a way of things. Even friend, you'll get used to the smell. I, I promise you. It, it, I know no one thinks they will when they first arrive. It, it's, it's quite traumatic, but you do... Don't don't question it. It just happens. Whether whether you should be able to get used to that smell or not, that's another discussion to have entirely. But you do get used to it. I promise you. Uh, but um, what my work is never done. We're on the twelfth day of spring. It's coming up to summer in just a moment, and I've got an awful lot of building yet to go. So I shall bring you back when we've made a little bit more progress on the tower. Well, with the fog just starting to lift on the 10th day of summer, the final touches are going in for the tower. I am so happy with how this has, uh, has come together. We've got some banners and extra lighting at the top because this is a statement piece. We want people to see this. Uh, but we also have uh, a couple of other banners going up and around the place. I've uh, started to take to putting the banners just below windows because then it looks like they've been unfilled from inside and someone's just, uh, you know, kind of uh, let the, the banner out. Uh, we've also more or less finished the secret archive as well. Uh, we've got a, a few little bits more that we could do, but by and large it is complete. Uh, we can expand it out. There's no reason to at this point. We're never going to have enough thesis to fill it, but you know what? For completeness sake, let's just go ahead and uh, fill out the uh, the walls properly. It shouldn't take our peeps too long to dig through that. They are very good at pretty much all of their jobs at this point. I'm slowly moving all of the... Oh, actually, no, I have moved all of the thesis down into the pile here. We're allowing the textbooks and the chronicles to sit up here in the uh, main library with all of the light flooding in from the uh, balconies above. But the, the thesis, they are um, more esoteric texts and are kept under close watch down in the secret archive. We've got a table there. Someone's recently pulled a chair out, perhaps, uh, whilst doing a little bit of research. And uh, we'll probably add in a couple of extra bookcases around here and an extra tour or two but by and large the secret archive is, is more or less complete we've just got to finish putting the merlons up here on the tower and then this will be complete as well as you can see over here though uh, we have the stairs coming up it is actually a separate room uh, and I, I decided to do that simply so that we could have the tower itself be a single room if we have a look at this the whole tower is now considered a room had we not placed that in there then it wouldn't have been considered a room because it would have had access to the outside uh, without any kind of gate or anything like that. Uh, but by and large, I think we're good. Have we managed to finish the last little bit of work up here? Oh, we haven't, actually. That's, uh, that's a bit of an interesting one. Uh, let me get that done. We might need a little floor or something just to help out with that. So let's just pop a floor right about there. And that should give them a uh, purchase to build the uh, the support um, uh, the support beam there. We've managed to clear up all of the mess that was left after those raiders, scallywags that they are, and we are gradually now finishing off the uh, production of Great Helms, and then we'll be moving on to plate armor. Sadly, we haven't managed to get everyone into plate armor, but we have gotten everyone into play, uh, into Great Helms, and we're building up a stockpile of spares should they get damaged. Uh, but for now, I guess we'll uh, just go ahead and say you can have all armor, just so you put something on. Let's uh, go all armor there as well, and that should uh, take care of that. Everyone will be about as well protected as they can, but we do need to switch over the wooden bucklers, but uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, for the time being, just so that we could easily uh, break down all of the gear, I did open up this area, uh, the uh, the warfare stockpile, to store everything. But as you can see, we're, this, this has been completely full numerous times. But as you can see, people are popping in and grabbing the old gear, and then immediately uh, carting it off to be smelted down. Uh, we are making steel, and we are also melting down pretty much anything that we don't currently equip ourselves. So that uh, any armor that isn't a great helm or a plate mail, and any uh, weapon that isn't a short sword or a bodish, 
Uh, I'm fairly happy with this little tower over here. Honestly, I, I think this will do quite decently. Uh, anyone who spawns around this side is going to have to get past that tower before they move on. And then, of course, we can attack them from the battlements over the Great Hall or indeed just wait for them to go to the, uh, the main gate. I have had so much fun building up woven tails. I really feel that this this has come together in a really organic way and uh, honestly I, I think it's it, it it has really managed to evolve as well. It didn't just build in an organic way. We haven't just got buildings where they naturally kind of circled out from the initial couple but they've gradually evolved. We've still got the remnants of our earliest buildings, the uh, dry stone wall cottages down here but they've slowly become absorbed into the the evolving mass that is woven tales proper and uh, really this tower is a fantastic fantastic addition just to get a proper sense of, of height and scale it it more or less dwarfs the great hall and the great hall was pretty great to to begin with but that that is a formidable device for for dealing with any scallywags that are foolish enough to spawn on this side perhaps in the future we will add more towers around we still haven't finished off this one and that is something that i would have liked to have gotten to but uh, i think at this point we're going to be saying goodbye to woven tales for now not forever this is not this is not a final episode this is this is more of a uh, closing of the book for the time being we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll find out more of the goings-ons in woven tales in the future i have absolutely no doubt but uh for the time being we've more or less explored all of the content that is available we still have a couple of production buildings that we could make uh that is the uh, spirit distillery and the apothecary bench maybe we will make uh make a herbalist area at some point so that we can make some uh, real medicines even though there really doesn't feel to be too much of a reason for it but i think uh, that's going to be it for us we'll have one last look with the roofs on at woven tales from its incredibly humble beginnings of, of just a thatched roof little uh, little barrack with a couple of uh, of storage sheds nearby it has turned into this intimidating military force a haven for the napper and the uh, the the death knell for the scallywags who might decide to try and make its riches their own fools that they are they they don't understand that they're merely adding to our wealth and not uh, actually uh, reducing it but that is going to be it for woven tales for the time being i really hope you've all enjoyed this series as much as i have enjoyed bringing it to you and i hope you look forward to a continuation of the save in the future when there's a little bit more content for us to explore but that is going to be it from me and from everyone in woven tales the cast as it stands russell dr lady terror belial manu pepster fooey malachi river knight mousy karina danda piccolo my wife's biggest fan closer to the wake melody rose mag Reds, polar bear bad boy rune drea ugrak and evil friend thank you very much for watching i hope you had a wonderful time and i hope to see you next time but until then do take care